And hello, it's the general. Trouble is back. <laughs> Here I am at Roll to Play in Coppell, Texas. It's a lot harder to memorize, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I struggle just bit. a little bit. Yeah. This is a very special time because I know Matt had made a deal with the devil. Yeah. It's hard to couldn't go on without I couldn't. me. Nope. So <laughs> Mephisto, just like that. Yeah. Just like Mephisto Spider Man and Mary Jane, he's back. We need he's John back. Keys. <laughs> so, so they dug up this tournament called the DFW Grand Prix. They were a part of it. And oh, and there's a little small I'm part of it called also the ROC Super Qualifier. Yeah, a little small yeah. part you of it. You guys might have heard of it, but it was mainly DFW Grand, Grand, Grand Prix. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, that too. That <laughs> Get out of here with that. So um, we, we battled that yesterday. And as you can hear, that my voice is gone because I was doing my best at what I do best. Yelling at everybody, Yelling yes. at everybody. to sit down and, and start their games. <laughs> and we have a very special guest uh, on the phone tonight, um, Jordan Harris, who was our champion. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Jordan. I'm sorry, Jordan. It, wasn't, it was Jordan Harris, correct? Yeah, Jordan Harris. Yes. Jordan, say hello to the, say hello to the world. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> All right. We have him via phone just in case you guys didn't yeah. know. Yeah, I can't. I can't he's not really inside the yeah. phone. No, no, no. That's, that's or, not he's happening right not now. under the no. tape. Okay, <laughs> yeah, just do, so you know. Through the wonders of modern technology, we have yeah. been able to communicate with this guy. Yes, yes. All right, so Jordan came in yesterday uh, and pretty much did his damage, okay, yeah. and, and, and played hard, played fast, and played fair. Now, now, Jordan, did you take a loss at all last, the whole day? Uh, yesterday? Um, I did, actually, in the uh, round. Really? I did. I lost to my teammate. Uh, Mike, he and I actually played a mirror match. We brought the same team. Ah, the yes, team. yes. I, I played Mike in the, in the round before I played yes. you, yeah. Well, speaking of teams, I got your sheet right here. You have Brother Voodoo, Despotelis, Kyle Rayner, and, and the Green Wall. <laughs> now, what surprised me is that with all the ROCs that have been happening, with as much time as Kyle Rayner has, you figured people would be more prepared for Kyle. Yeah, yeah. People people try to bring their A game for you, Kyle. You came in here and just, like, made fools of everybody at this yeah. point. Like, yeah. you were just like, Kyle, yeah, you're not going to stop him. Yeah. Like, what What was your strategy with it? Like, what, what, did you, what made you build this team? Well, Kyle's always been one of my favorite Green Lanterns. And when they threw this, uh, this guy out for us as a participation prize, I immediately picked him up as a favorite. Um, at one of the previous ROCs, I played a team with that Kyle, a wall, Evan Sir in a wall, and uh, the 50 point doctor from the Flash set. And that team also did very well, but it didn't have quite the synergy that I wanted. Uh, so popping Voodoo in there with Death Tellus really, really made it for me. That's awesome. awesome. I mean, like, honestly, awesome. like. When Matt and I play tests, we play tested for a long time. Yeah, I'll be. We play tested a lot of Kyle teams, and I, yeah. I thought I was prepared as I could this was be. This actually, this is something somebody for, brought up. This is an actually team we play tested against. Yes, we were just yes, like, oh, the no, exact no. team. Yes, the yeah, exact we're like, team. We got Kyle. We got Kyle. Then and I'll be honest, the, I, I played you in the uh, the semifinals, and I the only thing I didn't do in play testing was play Kyle on the ranks map, and that completely and totally ruined how I planned to play that game because I actually played your teammate in the quarterfinals and I got map roll and I didn't have that I, I, my plan worked out I knew how I knew how to handle everything but ranks, but, just but ranks destroyed how I was trying to play that game uh, in every way I, was, I couldn't I couldn't have prepared for it at all I said I just I didn't I didn't know what I was doing there <laughs> but uh was there anything you think you would uh, would like to do differently? I mean, I mean, obviously your team won, so I mean, like for the next ROC, is there anything you're thinking about changing on that team? Um, I've got a lot of things that I need play testing, but I really got to grind it out before I can I can speculate. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand on that one. Too many ideas and not enough time. There you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 that that was that's a big problem with the ROCs. Yeah. So I got two questions for you, uh, Jordan. Uh, first of all, how does it feel to beat the guy that was considered the number two person in ROC? Because Joshua I, that's was. An amazing feeling. <laughs> All right, that because I, I didn't know it until they were telling me midway during the tournament. Like, you know, that guy's the number two guy in ROC. Like in all of ROC. In the finals? Yes. Oh, so that, that makes me feel a little better. I beat him round one in Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> I made me feel a little better. I got lucky, but I beat him round one in Swiss. Place, uh, third or fourth? Third or fourth. Yeah, one of the two. Top yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad for me. So the second question I got is okay, so, so since you are the winner, um, the championship, uh, every champion that we did in the ROC here at the DFW Grand Prix gets a free seed into the championships on the on April 25th with the top prize being a Dark a dark Phoenix Cyclops. Are you interested? Um, interested, 
but between work and school, I don't quite know if I'll make it. Hopefully, I'll be able to find the time. Well, Absolutely. Work, work, school, and Disney, Disneyland. Yes. Disneyland, there you go. Yeah, he's going just to like, Disneyland. Just like all champions, he's going to Disneyland. There you go. <laughs> but, you know what? Well, I will say this. Uh, Jordan, it was a pleasure um, being there and witnessing you and Team Ragnarok, as well as everybody else that showed up. It was awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, I would love oh, to see. Me. It was a pleasure for me, too. Yeah. Uh, I would look forward to seeing you guys again. So, okay? um, one last question before we let you go. Uh, did you th did you come across any teams you actually had trouble against? Like, was there anything you were actually worried about? Because we were just well, talking about. There was actually a couple. Oh, yeah. Um, the, uh, one of the main ones that I, I just I kept seeing was that Super Scroll with Engineer team as a Star mm. Labs technician. Mm. Yeah, that, yeah, we that saw thing, that. That thing will give you pause because that Super Scroll dangerous, and Engineer makes a great backup for him. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, yeah. Yeah. I was actually surprised uh, at the Yondu's, honestly. Like, no, I, 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 we'll, talk yeah, about yeah, we'll talk about Yondu in a second. Yeah, yeah, that's, All right. Anyway. We'll talk about anyway. Future. Well, uh, Jordan, thank you for joining us, sir. We appreciate your time and uh, give a shout out to all the people in Stop Click Land. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Thanks for everybody for the wonderful time. Thanks to my family, uh, in my clicks, my Ragnarok buddies, and uh, thanks to my absolute best friend Amanda Carly for driving out with me and lending all the moral support in the world. Awesome. Ooh, there thank you, go. Jordan. We look forward to seeing you play again, dude. All right. Have a good all night, man. My pleasure. Right. Later, bro. All right. Now, I, I, I'm going to go here because I, yesterday, don't get me wrong, I met some of the nicest human beings and the most ruthless HeroClix players, <laughs> and sometimes they're the same people. Yeah. Yes, they are. Uh, and uh, I had the, uh, I, I, said, I, I played an unusual team, a little off meta. Su Zombie Super Scroll is, is meta, and I understand that. Um, and Harley Quinn is on the fringe of meta. It's not seen a whole lot, but my, my ace in the hole for the entire day was Batmite. Because Batmite fell out of favor two years ago, and yes, Wiz Kids has has he not rotated in, yeah. any convention exclusives. And he was just brooding in the. No, shadows. no, no. He was he was waiting in the wings to come and destroy oh. people. And yeah. Batmite yeah. was my unpredictable factor that I brought, and every person I played against it was like, "That's a Batmite. How does this affect my team?" And I can see they truly didn't understand what all shenanigans I was about to do. And, uh, but yesterday, the team I played, prim played primarily, in addition to some Kyles, uh, I played this very ugly and almost destroyed me, Yondu. Yondu in the first round is Yondu, which is an uncom from Guardians of the Galaxy, which I completely underestimated yeah. in every way, yeah. shape, and form. Uh, and you sometimes, they, they always have a Mantis, because Mantis can mind control other characters with the Guardians of the Galaxy keyword. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for an another shot with Yondu. Then uh, Weasel with Enhancement, or Brother Him with Enhancement, making Yandu do more damage. And Yandu's special power of Yaka Arrows, making it so that uh, he can shoot anybody without drawing lines of fire, as long as they're within range. Uh, Brother Him also increasing his range out, and, and Weasel also increasing yeah. his range oh out. My God. With oh, their heads. And their probs, and, and of course you also have Engineer on one of the teams, providing even more prob or enhancement or whatever he needs. The, the, the Swiss Army box. And also healing with support if you ever got hit. But from 10 range and with absolutely no line of fire, I was getting my, my stealth characters hit. And that's not something you plan for. Especially well, for 5 damage precision strike when you're 10 squares out. Especially with the fact that, and let's not even talk about, not, not only were you getting hit with stealth, there was no hindering bonuses whatsoever. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, you got this nothing kid, out of it. Because he, he doesn't have to draw okay. my fire. So, so anyway, this team, I had no way to know what was about to befall me when I hit. And I'll be honest, I, I looked at the team. I think I understood Yondu was a, a major factor in it. Uh, but the first round I played against it, I played massive amounts of elevation. I played, uh, I can't even think of the name of the map right now. Uh, but there's six elevation on top square. It's just a giant hill. And Yandu cared not. And Yandu doesn't care one bit about any sort of elevation. He's got you. <laughs> and and the thing is, even though he had, no, I'll be honest, it did hose his TK, because I'll be honest, that was the deadly part, was he also, most of them also played the Star Labs tech to get him a little further out than do Yaka Arrow, Mantis Mind Control, Yaka Arrow. And you get hit for just a ton of Alpha Strike now, damage. Here's, here's something that we also discovered is yeah. uh, Mind Control is kind of like a soft reset for characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that eliminates. One very important thing when dealing with Yondu, 
uh, damage depletion modifiers. Yes. Yeah, no, it, 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 is, it is an attack, though. It is an attack made by that character. So the damage depletion modifier does, does in fact, prop. But it, didn't, it doesn't really matter if you're swinging for a five, then four. Nothing, nothing really changes when you're doing nine damage in a turn. No, <laughs> because yeah. um, it, it's... Um, what we saw was it was a new character. Yeah, That's yeah. It, started, it turned into a brand new character. Yeah, it's like, it's like I actually didn't know that. With a, with a new yeah. instance of the character, okay. because if you perplex a character, then mind control and perplex falls off. Yes. Okay. Oh, I didn't. I did not know that. That's yeah. very interesting. So, so it makes it Yondu did not. He had a duo attack without. Yeah, without, without having duo without, attack. Without, yeah. Are you and and could activate the same action twice because once the first time was a power action, the second time was a free action. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. So, um, really, uh, a team that I, I, I almost would have destroyed me, like. The How many did we see? Three? Uh, yeah. I fought three of yeah. that same team. And that team did make it to the finals. The, yeah, like I said, I did make it to the finals there. Uh, and it, it, it's a great team. I fully expect to see more and more of it because it's a relatively cheap team. Mantis is, I think, an uncommon. Yondu's yeah. an uncommon. Uh, Weasel's a common or uncommon. I mean, they're talking like realistically the most expensive pieces engineered, like $15. This is like a $20 team. Yeah. And they almost it almost, almost won. won. I mean, I mean I'll be honest. Like, I, I, I played it multiple times yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. yesterday. Man, yeah. I, man, it didn't really feel like it was yesterday. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and but I, I'll be honest, it was it was a really impressive team to see, and uh, I, I fully expect to see more ROCs with it. In there like, were just some awesome players. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 thirty-two of some of the most. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. 33 was yeah. No, I guess you're not I counting me. But yeah. I, yeah. Well, <laughs> thirty-two of the awesome players of one Raven. <laughs> Okay. We'll talk about my whole All right, day. So you want to talk on. about your, yeah, your we'll, bike? We'll go down. There. Okay. We'll go down there. All right. So there was this one particular character that this one player brought this one particular character that everybody knows of, Death Storm. Okay. Trinity War. Trinity War. From the Trinity War. Yeah. All right. Death Storm has this little neat ability that when this when he clicks on this special on this special power that. Each oh, no, time, when it's revealed. When it's revealed. Not when he clicks on it. Not, just whenever it's revealed. Whenever it's revealed. That means if you hit it and it goes past that power, that each time it's revealed, the power activates. Yes. Now, a lot of people are like, well, it shouldn't activate just because it went past it. No. WizKids Ooh. ruled it. People. Yeah, yeah. Eve, every time this guy got hit. Now, how, was, many, how many instances of this power does he have on his dial? Do you know? Three. 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 So he so can up to three times. So every time, one, one attack. If you alpha strike Death Storm, he has the potential to come right back to to, yeah. to click one and really show you what the yeah. So you roll about. a d six and you heal that much. Yes. Every for each instance for of the each, six each each instance. So, so you click him three times on that dial. And he KOs. He rolls two, three times. Mm. That's six clicks. That he's he's back on it. Yeah, yeah. And that's two. That's, yeah, that's such a low number to get. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and that, very impressive piece. Very yes, impressive piece. I, I was very, very amazed at it. Yeah. There's also another one. You know. <laughs> put the white ring on him. No, <laughs> uh, you're a bad human being. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so you, what, was your, what was your thing? All right, right? so my team, and I'm going to get a shirt yeah. that I brought this team. Okay, my team was Silver Centurion, um, Sloth, and Engineer. Now, the biggest thing that I got from Silver Centurion. No, and not Sloth Engineer. Uh, no, Star, Star Labs Tech. Tech. There you go. You're, you're being yeah. weird. Yeah. But uh, the biggest thing I got with Silver Centurion is people were ready to penetrate Psychic Blast. They were ready to poison. Mm -hmm. They were ready to pulse wave. He ignores all that. I yeah. couldn't tell you how many times I had to tell people to know he ignores that. Yeah, yeah. And he, it kind of <laughs> frustrates me because yeah. like, I kind of want them to announce penetrating Psychic Blast and be that jerk that lets them make the roll and be like, oh, well, it does nothing. Yeah. 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 But I was like, I, I found myself on the verge of doing that, but I didn't want to be that kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, as far as my shirt goes, it's going to be for the Pulse Bolt Torpedo. <laughs> it's going to be a shirt that says, Believe in the Torpedo. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> out of the four or five games Torpedo. that I played. Out of <laughs> the four or five games that I play, not once did that Torpedo hit. And every <laughs> single time, it missed by, by one. one. Yeah. I'll oh. give you a perfect example. It was Banshee. Uh, Cyclops, oh, no. ABX, yeah, yeah. Um, what else? Um, the dog, Lockjaw, yeah. and Turtle, right? Yeah. And he overextended way far ahead. Yeah. I blew Banshee down to click five first turn. Yeah. Um, I brought Sloth in on Cyclops and tied him up. I was like, I got this. I'll blow Banshee up with the torpedo. I need like a <laughs> six, and I'll go straight for Cyclops and win. Roll a five. Yeah, oh, there wow. it goes. It, I'll be honest, it, it, the pulse board. Pulse Bolt Torpedo actually saw play in the finals last year, didn't it? Versus uh, Pat. Yeah. Pat Yopo -Yo -Yo I don't know if I'm saying I, it right. I think so. I, said, cause I believe uh, it was uh, Iron Feral versus Silver Centurion. Uh, I think it was one of the primary primary pieces that they played. And, you know, I, I love the Pulse 
Pulse Bolt Pulse. Torpedo. Uh, I'm just going to say the torpedo. How about just PBT? Yeah, there you go. There you go. The Terpurter. Yeah, it's a Terpurter. Yeah, yeah. Terpurter. The Terpurter. The Terpurter can be quite deadly, but but once again, is it is it a little bit of an all in it, all or nothing strategy. Now, keep in mind. A raven cannot for the life of him hit it. I think every, every time we test every, it. Every time I we hit tested it. it. Every, I hit it. No, 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 you, you got shape changers a couple of times. Yeah, You're like, and that, that's still. nothing is as bad as having your pulse bolt, bolt tur perter, your turperter shape changed away from you. That's or, bad. Or um, super sense. Super sense is the way. Yeah. No. But, um, the, big, the key figure about this actually that I was completely blown away with was sloth. Oh yes. my goodness. Oh, sloth. We is, have some problems with kids. <laughs> sloth okay. is, is the meta. Oh my oh, god. That. I couldn't tell you how many people <laughs> got hosed by that character. Yeah, like, yeah. like yes. you even with the TK yeah. with the Star Labs, it's eight plus his five movement. That's thirteen squares. You can you, I, you, people were overextending like to nobody's business. Yeah, nobody's business. Let me tell you where you messed up, Liz kids, and I'll, I'll be the first one to say this. You're, the way you have worded it, you have broken your own rules. Okay, yeah. when sloth comes in, okay, when somebody comes in with sloth. I, okay, all right. Sorry. Uh, when he comes in with his power, it says that once you move in, that that power, with your, if you're within four squares, that you cannot resolve any X, any, any Well, no, no, power. not when you not when you move into four squares. Is when a character within four squares is given an action, an action that, that resolves. Now, when an action given to a character within, within four squares resolves. Yeah. Now, so it doesn't have to resolve within the four squares. You it just has to be given to that character. In the, now, squares, yeah. in the four squares. So you're saying yeah. that, yeah. that we understand that people are like, well, I can I can run a shot with the net, and I'll tell them, no, you cannot, because one action has to resolve. Yeah, before the, the, power, the running shot says give them a power action. Yes, and then give them a free action. action. Yeah. So once you give them the power action and you're within that's four it. squares, yeah. that's, that's it. That's it. You can move them. But you're done. You you're done after that. Yeah. Now there are some ways around this. One being hypersonic speed. Yes. Hyper hypersonic well, speed. Well, all I, I, one I, I noticed a couple of people trying to argue about that. They're like, no, no, no. It was, yeah. it was no, a hypersonic speed do, does in yeah. fact still work. Which, thankfully, because I'll be honest, there's not too many ways you can get get, all, get, get You can get close to him. You know. That's the other thing is this character ruined me in playtesting because guess what? Super Scroll can't pick powers at the beginning of turn because he wants to like a bunch of old characters could. <laughs> he's got to be given a free action. And once his free action resolves and he's in four squares, he can no longer do any other actions. So he gets to pick powers and sit there. Oh, which is even, not very good. Even better than that. Characters within two squares. This is on his damage power. Oh, get earthbound neutralized. Two squares, I'm get earthbound neutralized. So you yes. Take that, that mountain map, yeah. and you set them right. And it's within two squares. Yeah. Not adjacent. Not within line of fire. Yeah, nothing. Two squares. Two squares. Yeah. And it's funny seeing them try to like running shot and they can't because I'm got I'm on the only. I got slot on the only elevation to go up. Yeah. So they have to like walk and. Like, <laughs> oh, that's awesome, dude. dude. I love it, dude. Like, and then he gets poisoned. He yeah. eats Despotellus. Yeah. I want Despotellus. To yeah, I, I'll be honest. Yeah. In playtesting, you got. Yeah, I noticed we we finally figured out that don't put Despotellus anywhere near a slot. It will not go well for you. Yeah, yeah. And, and Mystics. <laughs> yeah, like, Mystics. Oh yeah. Oh, lots and lots of Mystics. Are you kidding me? Like yeah. for 107 points, this guy is a staple from now on in yeah. any team that I build. Yeah. This guy is. Oh, I thought Gluttony was going to do it. No, like, no. I, I Playtesting Gluttony yeah. is sad. <laughs> he was so easy too many to characters. Run. Too many characters ignore characters for yeah. Gluttony to be truly meta. That's yeah. the big problem with Gluttony. That too many characters just go, "I'm, I'm leaving. Goodbye." <laughs> like, in fact, two of my characters did it. It was yeah, like, I, "I've got Zombie play Super play Scroll and Harley <laughs> Quinn. They just leave. They're yeah, okay. They're like, Goodbye." We can't yeah, play yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, if you put Gluttony with like, I don't know, um, Dead Man. Yeah, or, or yeah. I'll, I'll be honest. I, I I I was a little sad that it was just over three hundred points. So it was, I thought it'd be the funniest team in the world to play Gluttony, who always ignores all but one damage and has Mystics with Dead Man and a, and Resurrection Man because they, they can't die if they're the, if they're not if they can't die permanently as long as they're not there's still a character on the board. Yeah. So basically, no matter what would happen, <laughs> is that nobody would ever be able to die until Gluttony was taken care and of. And he has steel energy. And he's got steel <laughs> energy. You never really want to touch him. I was like, that'd, that'd be the meanest thing I could ever do to somebody. Fortunately, over 300 points, just barely like 307, I think. Oh, it I is. guess whiz kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, yeah, kids, still, like, very, very funny. But yeah. don't do that. You will lose friends. All right. <laughs> I have a question. I, I understand something else happened at the ROC event. Yeah. Somebody cracked a case and talk and, and, and got a particular figure that we have talked about. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, so so we have, we, we have a resident. We we have a resident. uh Usual here. Yeah. Uh, regular. Uh, regular. Yeah, there we go. Regular. He got into Hero Clicks for a while, helped us play test a little bit. He also, he's really big into magic. So, we had, what, 60 booster packs opened? Yes. 60. We had 60 booster packs. We opened. had people buying boosters all day. And the thing is, if you know anything about Hero Clicks players, 
is what happens is three people will open a booster. Yeah. And like in a Trinity War where there's a guaranteed chase, yeah. three people open a booster and they didn't pull anything good. That means our, our, our odds went up. Yeah. And so there's these frenzies of people that are it's watching like, like sharks right. ready to pounce. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's blood in the water. And, and it happened over and over again. I had to go tell uh, uh, Matt Tuck several times to go, hey, dude, the, the boosters are gone. You need yeah. to go put one back out. And the thing is, and sure enough, 10 boosters would sit there. And one person would walk over and they'd take a booster. And everybody watched them very quietly open it. <laughs> he got a rare! Go for it! Go! go, go. <laughs> so, this went on throughout the night. Uh, we're 56 boosters in. There's about four or five other boosters. There are three boosters There's sitting three on the counter. Left, right? Granted, you know, given I didn't get to get a booster either. Yeah. I didn't get to get a booster. Whatever. No big deal. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not playing it. Yeah. Could have been mine. So yeah. anyways. So three boosters are left. There's like four people left in the store after yes. 33 people went home. Yeah. And um, Doug, who didn't play in the tournament, he's very casual. Just yeah. you know, he's a fun player. He yeah, he's a fun yeah. player. Nothing awesome against guy, him. Doug. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, cool yeah, guy. Yeah. Really, really nice. Um, he was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna buy two boosters. Yes. And Matt's like, pick that one. Pick that one. I was like, this is this is the one, Dougie. I, I he's, yeah. like, he's like, really? He's like, he's kind of feeling. He's like, no, no. I was like, no, no. Seriously, that's the one. Do that. And he's like, okay, okay. And of course... And I'm sitting here doing trades. Yeah. And I hear a signature shrill laugh. <laughs> and I'm and I'm at, B, I'm at Buffalo Wild Wings watching the UFC fight night. And I get a, I get the, the Facebook notice. And I look on that. I'm like, <laughs> Matt Jackson did what? I almost, threw my, I almost threw my phone on the ground. And I was like, no, no, John, you need that. So <laughs> you need that. I looked at it and it was White Rabbit. White Rabbit. Pull the white rabbit. All out of, of out of sixty boosters, boosters. this guy like, who didn't what? even play in a tournament wins. Pull the pulls a white rabbit. Say he flipped it already, got the cash out. So yeah. we told him, don't even keep it. You, you watched the last episode of the show and knew exactly. Yeah, what yeah, we'll do it. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, but, but anyway, that's so why watch out. We're, 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 you'll get tipped. We're happy yeah. for Doug. We're happy for Doug. But that's of course, so the least serious clicks player that walked through the entire day walks out with the white rabbit. I It is true. Yeah, it is true. I mean, it would it would have been sucked to see. Like somebody, you know, I'm not saying Texas is the best state in the world or anything. <laughs> that, that, well, it goes what are those saying. Kansas people? Oh, okay, <laughs> but you know, I, it would suck to see like some out of town as, oh, look, let me go yeah. ravage your store. Yeah, they, white rabbit and go. Oh, nah, yeah, well, white rabbit. Thanks, Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, 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 I will say this. I, I, I uh, we have people here. I know from Oklahoma. From Kansas. I know from Kansas. I know from Houston. Laredo. Laredo. Uh, somewhere out west. Texas. I met a gentleman from west. I don't. You just said west of here. Like I think you might have said El Paso. Yeah. But I believe it. I'm just saying there were people from a, a great deal of distance away. We like to thank every single one of them that showed up yesterday. Amen. They yes. made this event. So it was off the chain. I don't know if they say that yeah. anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I, I've been told they don't. I've been told they don't. I'm told that's really 90. But <laughs> I said it yesterday that we made history by bringing a super qualifier here for the yes. first time at DFW. You guys made the formula. This yeah. will happen again. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, this yeah. This will right, happen again. The, the, um, the powers that be was so happy that they already she already greenlitted. Um, green lighted next year. Maybe. And, and green lit. Green, green, green lit. We did it. Green lantern it. Yeah. She green lantern yeah. at the ring. Like, listen, the RC. But yeah. Next year we will have another super qualifier. And so, and so, I mean, I, I was wanting to do it yesterday. I totally forgot about it. Let me make a shout out to Tiffany Franzoni. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yay. Okay. Thank you for listening to this madman <laughs> about his hero click streams and making it come true. There you go. I appreciate you. Um, so everybody there appreciates you. Yeah. And with that said, I think we've said enough tonight. Yeah, yeah. I think we've covered enough. Um, um, I don't know about you guys, but I am dead tired of the match. I, I, no, no, I, I want to go play fun teams again. Yeah, I want to play. I, I play. I, I want to play crime syndicate. Yeah, so. I mean, like, how long? Have we, yeah, I'm done. Like, I even I traded my bat cycle on bat mic yesterday. Did you really? Yeah. you got I, rid I'm of these. I need get them off. Get them off my hands. <laughs> I'm well, done. Well, let me say this before we go. We got we got two more rounds. Well, we got one more place to go before we go to the championship. That's to the Dun the Duncanville Bookstore in Duncanville, Texas, mm -hmm. south of 20. Mm -hmm. Be there um, April 4th. It's not a fool's day. Yeah. Come on in. Play us. Have a good time. Let's have a good time, people. Yeah. Let's do it one more time. Okay? All right. And this has been Raven. The General returns. And MJ. And thank you all for watching the Stop Click. Cool.